it's a box. First of all, here you have the headpiece here. It comes still with the tag and they wrap it up while you're waiting to get them it done. It's so nice. So here is the head bow. It has little pom-poms here and also it has a wire so it can make the look nice and fluffy. We're gonna do some magic here now, guys. There we go. So this is the head bow. It is nice and has those little pom-poms here. How cute are those pom-poms? And the wire helps you. You can put it up, you can put it down. And some Japanese ladies prefer it all pushed down. I prefer it usually up and bouncy, but some Japanese ladies I've seen, they seem to like it actually more smaller and pushed down. And it's totally up to your tastes. Next one. Da -da 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 -da. Ta -da. Now the Nakayoshi Jinjukupi actually had a blouse that they were kind of trying to push in store. That blouse is already sold out everywhere, but they had on this play this blouse here, which has a melting chocolate color. And since I have a lot of chocolate dresses, I thought I should definitely get this one to just make all the other outfits I have already in this color complete. There we go. So <laughs> wonderful thing with this blouse is it has a little bit of gold here. It is kind of melting chocolate going around here. And then even on the hand part, it has melting chocolate. It comes actually in a bigger size. I find it's kind of wider. Like I've managed to fit the poppies in and that's important. So I am quite happy with this. And look at the gold coming down here and the hearts here too. It is just about fitting in the puppies. <laughs> if I do it like this, oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> and, <laughs> and yeah, chocolate here and chocolate there. Very, very good addition to your Lolita chocolate dress wardrobe. Woohoo! And now, here is the moment you have all been waiting for. Nakayoshi ginger cookie jumper skirt. Come out, come out, come out. There was pink, there was ivory, there was brown, and there was mint. So we got mint in the end. Da, da, da. Oh. Ta oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so wonderful. This is so wonderful. <sighs> the print is the cutest. Nakayoshi in Japanese means best friends. And that's the idea of this print. You can see all the Nakayoshi, all the friends that get along really, really well. And you can see in this print, we have bears, gingerbread cookie men, boys and bunnies, and a lot of cookies. This dress is the sweetest and it has a massive advantage for Western Lolitas, I would say, especially for Western Lolitas. It has a lot of shearing. Byung. That's the shearing here. That's a good amount of shearing in, me, in my opinion. Like, look at this. That is a good amount of shearing. All right, guys, let's change into this. There we go, Nakayoshi Ginger Cookie. This is how it looks worn. Of course, it will need a petticoat here. It does not restrict me too much is one of the reasons. I mean, it sits so well and it doesn't make me feel like I'm suffocating. It actually supports the female figure. A lot of angel of pretty dresses do this. Ugh. This one doesn't. So I'm really grateful for that one. It's just that little bit of extra detail that makes these kind of dresses so special. So this one here has like a melty color, which then goes with the melty color from the blouse as well in the JSK. And I do like this little brocade that goes around here and all over here. The ribbon here ends in the same brocade and then in a kind of a long fashion like this. So you have like a little bit of a sideways cut with it and a little bit of lace at the bottom of the ribbon too. Together with the shirt, I think the shirt just really makes it pop as well, bringing all the chocolatiness to the ginger cookies as well. Like the head bow. It has a swoop and a little fork on it here. Angelic pretty. Wonder Party Day SK! Yay! Now, why is this one of my dream dresses? To be honest, this dress I uh, learned from Joanne while we were doing the Kimawashi Challenge video. I learned the one piece from Joanne again for a video that unfortunately I never uploaded and a photo shoot. And I just realized that this is the very first dress where I wore pink and I liked myself in it because up until then, I felt the same thing that some of the leaders feel, it's the
I want to wear a leader and I like the pink dresses, but what if I don't suit pink? What if I look stupid? What if I look childish? Is this age play? Will I look old in pink? Will I look pale in pink? Will I look pink in pink? These kind of worries we have. But this was the very first pink dress that I wore and I felt confident in it and I really, really loved myself in it. I think it was the confidence boost and the nice memories I made in this dress that made it so special to me. Unfortunately, Joanne sold her OP on. No! So I never got my hands on the OP and I kept browsing closet child in a search for this dress and then the other day it was there in the shop in a really really good condition the gold is still sparkly all the teacups are going round one of my favorite bits about this dress is the little fork and spoon that are on the bow the lace has little teacups on so angelic pretty wonder party is one of my absolute dream dresses <laughs> i'm so glad angelic pretty wonder party you are boss. So glad. And I also bought the head bow with it because this is my dream dress. So I splash out. You are mine now and I shall love you forever and ever. Unless I see the one piece. I might betray you for that and buy the one piece instead. Don't tell the dress. But until then I'll love you forever and ever. So angelic pretty won the party. Yay! Number one, non-dresses but still AP. I have a thing for sailor colors because I think they're absolutely adorable and AP brought out this little thing it has a nice sailor color a bow it has little anchors on the buttons and it has a little pocket in the front anchors item number two is a hoodie from Angelic Pretty it's chest chocolate it's nice and pink it has brown little bits and gold little bits on and it should keep me nice and warm and snazzy <laughs> On that note, I got fruit parlor, but I didn't get the skirt, I got the apron skirt of fruit parlor, woo! I love, I love, 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 love apron skirts because they're so versatile and you can do so many things with them and fruit parlor has so many happy colors and it's sparkly and a really, really cute dress. I like how puppy and colorful fruit parlor is and it always makes me a little bit hungry actually to wear fruit parlor because I always want to have an ice cream sundae when I get this one. Now let's go for part two, the Closet Child Grand Sale! Closet Child Sale was on and I was like, okay, I need to go to Closet Child. Even though I'm not going to buy anything, not at all, but I just want to have a look, just in case. So, we saw two dresses and I just had to buy them. Number one, Dreamy Doll House. Dreamy Doll House. I love how this one has a very different color as a color and here are the straps and you put that kind of on top and it looks like this. I can see the dreamy doll here. Dreamy doll house. I guess it's her house. Ooh, and oh, look at the little horsey sleeping here. Now wait for the price. You won't believe me. For dreamy doll house with the head bow, I paid 2,800 yen. I'm not kidding you. That's even half price from Body Life. And the next one, look at that one. I love it. It's decoration dream. So here's the shearing. And you got ruffles, look at those, ruffle, 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 ruffles. They'll be a pain to iron, but I love, I love, 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 love to have that extra little bit of detail right at the back. And look at the little ponies. Ponies. There are ponies on the cake and more. We have cupcakes. Oh, this almost looks like a macaroon wedding cake. Check out the cute bows right at the top coming down here. Really, really nice lace and the detachable big bow right at the front. Why do I mention this dress last? It's because this dress was even cheaper than the other one. Have a guess? The answer is I paid 2,200 yen. That's less than 20 pounds. That's less than 20 euros. That is, that's like a present. <gasps> I can't believe how lucky I was. I've never seen a P this cheaply. Cheap, happy, happy, nice dresses. So for those two dresses put together, I pay 5,000 yen spot on for two dresses with one head bow. It's amazing. I've never, ever, ever seen this. This is amazing. This is amazing. All right, let's open it. Ooh, uh, smells of dreams. Mm. Smells of cotton candy. Tastes of biscuits. No, 
Biscuits. It's a set, so it comes actually with a headset that has the pattern on and it's like super, super like almost like retro classic feel to it. I love it. It has, has some pins here inside to keep it in place as well. So it doesn't shift down your head. Some of those do that and it's really nice and thick and those bows, they're kind of extra thick and poofy in a way. So it's a little bit like plushies, you know, where you put some stuffing in them. So those bows have been stuffed, stuffed with goodness. <laughs> Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Huh? You might think, Kathy, you never buy dresses that have no print. And that's true. I usually always have a print on my dresses. But dun 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 dun. It has really, really large biscuits on the dress here. So let me show you the whole thing. The name of this baby is Tabekake Biscuit. Tabekake means like something that you kind of bit off and with a little bit of a liberal translation, I would say it's like a, a bitten biscuit because it is the French pronunciation because the designer of this dress, apparently according to the staff in the store said, loves France and French very much. So that's why it's Tabekake Biscuit. It is a no print, but it makes up for it by having the printed bows, which is their original design, big cookies, and again, their original print at the bottom. It also has pom-poms here, pom-pom time, and more of their stuffed bows, so they shouldn't droop even after washing. There is shearing. And again, big plushy bows at the end of the bow, on the bow, little bow. I like myself out now. Only thing I'm sad about, this is not a pocket. This would have been so great as an oversized pocket. The pocket dreams of any Lolita would have come true with this one. Fortunately, no pocket. But to make up for it, there's one pocket here. Oh, it has pockets. Sha -la -la -la. Now I've been told that I should wear no print dresses a little bit more because apparently they look good and don't overpower so much. So. Why not put it on? I haven't worn it yet. I'm quite excited to find out how it is in that little plushy filled bow. Look at you, chubby bow. I love you. Let's uh, <laughs> let's put it on. All right, guys. Transformation time. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. This is so 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 cute. Oh my gosh, it is simple and yet beautiful and even without a print. I love it and I happen to have the perfect blouse for it. Also, this is actually pretty. I got this last winter together with my community during a stream and oh, <laughs> Now, you might say that I'm a bit of a connoisseur of chocolate dresses. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Therefore, I happen to have a fitting blouse and a couple of other dresses, but they're all definitely print dresses. And this is the first time it's not a print dress. Sharing wise, there's still some space in the back. Can someone help me tie this? Could you, could you help me? Could you help me tie, please? <gasps> Deep breath, it's all good. So there is space for sharing. There's more space for puppies, always good. And again, we have this pocket here. I love how big and fat the bows are here with the cushioning. I love how big and fat the headpiece is. All of those wonderful things. It makes me so happy. And it really does make me want to eat some chocolate right now, to be honest. Whoops. The shop staff wrapped it up so beautifully. Look at this, look at this. Like you can see the actually pretty logo and the head bow was still in store. Oh. Ta -da, ta -da. Ah, sexy act. Oh, look, we're seeing this dress. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, just look at this. Look at this. Look at the head bow. Look at the, the beauty of this head bow. Oh. So next, this time what they actually did is they moved the bow slightly to the side, which is nice because they're right on top bow. That's been done quite a lot. So shifting it slightly to the side is the thing so it makes it kind of in a different sound look at the chocolate pattern can you see the beautiful chocolate pattern you can always there's a spoiler here there's gold <sighs> why am i smelling the head bow because i'm just so excited i smell stuff <gasps> ah! <laughs> okay oh Oh, where do I even start? Where do I even start to describe you the wonder and the beauty of this dress? So this dress has two types of um, 
quad, like quadricated things that hold it up. So you have the normal the normal things here on the side, and you cannot change. You can you can like change one button on the back. So you have this one to hold it up, but that's actually not the main. And what made it so beautiful is they thought about so many things. So the jumper skirt version has like um, it looks almost like a waist 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 jacket, the kind of waist jacket kind of style. How this comes up. So it has the waist jacket bit here with extra buttons. And then it has here right at the front, the Angelique Pretty logo. And that's why I actually wanted it instead of the um, JSK, uh, instead of the OP, because I just love how they show the logo off here. And then there's all this detail. Then there's the bow. You cannot take the bow off, but just look how it is. The bow is completely chocolate. It's a complete chocolate pattern. And then it has those diamonds the whole diamond style is around here well another thing that's beautiful with this just look it has like at the sides it has little things that come down here so again it reminds you a little bit of a waist jacket or just like this those little flaps on the side it's just ah, it's just things in design they looked at they thought about i love it and then we come to the main part of the dress and you can already see that they again used quite a lot of styles so here you have the general um the general diamonds coming down with the with the a um with the a in here uh, spoons hearts and a little bit of gold so that was very nice and classy in the middle right in the middle they have kind of crests it looks like total posh family crests so you can have like a crown here you have the angelic pretty logo and that's again in cream and then on the side of it it has more chocolate and if you go down on the dress this time, loads of detail on the lace. Look at all that beautiful detail on the lace. And then underneath it has uh, extra pe uh, kind of petty frill to keep it sturdy. So that's great. And if you're curious about the back, how does it look for shearing? And now, for our ladies, always want to know, is there shearing? Yes, there is shearing, there is shearing, there's shearing. So this is the amount of shearing that you're getting. And I don't, how much, it doesn't stretch terribly much. Uh, there's not, as much gift as in some other dresses, so that's something you might want to look out for. I know you've been worried about me because I've been so hung up about your sister, your mint sister, but it's alright now. I found a new person to make myself happy. Thank you for staying with me during this time. I find my new queen! Oh gosh! Okay, and this note, so since I found my new queen and I'm starting to get over the one that got away, I shall, I shall do the transformation time if I can find my transformation thing. There we go. <laughs> so on that note, transformation time. <laughs> so there it is, Queen Chocolate. I'm so happy. I just looked into the mirror and I was like, I'm so happy. This is amazing. It is classical, but it has loads of chocolate on the actual dress and it is in mint. I'm so glad, finally, finally, dream come true in a different shape, but still dream come true. So let's have a little spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around. So the way I got into the dress, actually, it has a zip on the side right here. So I got into the dress using the zip that helped because, again, there's not as much shearing on this dress and it has the collar. Now with the collar, I realized usually my usual Lolita blouse that have a collar here they don't really work as well so with the extra waist kind of collar I had it under my blouse for now so what I need is probably a high neck blouse to make this work because once I've moved this out it doesn't actually work as well you can see it kind of hides actually the special part of this dress which I kind of want to show off instead so that's one of the parts uh, that I realized when I actually start coordinating this with the buttons you might be worried about losing those buttons one of them is inside the dress so that's hidden in there in case you lose one you have another spare one that you can use that is great that is pretty much every every detail i can add to this i'm gonna love 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 accessorizing this working on this it has loads of gold on it so that will work i have also socks from before that also have the same diamond pattern so it kind of works a little bit as well da, 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 the first thing da! I was looking for brown socks, so I got those. Huh, look at them. They have brown and gold on. And a massive angelic pretty logo. And candles. They were just over a thousand yen. They smell so new. I was looking for brown socks for absolute ages and finally I found some. Yes, I got more socks. Ta -da. Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, all right, they're not quite over knee socks. I wanted to have some beige socks as well, and I have a thing for socks, and they have a delightful pattern. That's more socks! 
As if I didn't have enough socks already! I have enough socks already. Oh no, you can't never have too many socks. Right? Next item is another pair of socks that's not here because I already gave them as a present to a friend for a birthday. Sorry. I'm not gonna bore you with more socks. I'm gonna show you what else I got. Ta da! Wrist cuffs! What made me absolutely happy with these wrist cuffs, I wasn't sure whether they would be the right shade of brown. But then when I got home, I was even happier because they used the exact same lace for the ribbon on Sweet Cream House. So these ones are going to be my new Sweet Cream House wrist cuffs. So cute! Oh my god! Oh god, I love them! And they fit! Oh, this is perfect! But I got more! So let's have a look what else I got! It's nice and summery, even though it doesn't say actually pretty in big letters, it says it on the inside, and I like how the bows are done here. And I think it matches a lot of my outfits. Da, 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 da. Next thing, a had bow! Now with this bow, I looked at it and I kept looking at it and was like, this might match my Musée de Chocolat. But what if it doesn't match? No, I'm sure it might match Musée de Chocolat. What if it's the wrong shade of brown? First world related problems. So anyways, I decided to buy it in the end. When I got home, I took out my Musée de Chocolat dress. Check out the headdress and they match, they match, they match, they match, they're exactly the same bow! Yay! Now my music is chocolate has a matching headdress! I really, really can't wait to wear this one. Now at this point of the shop, I thought I should go home because I already planned it all out. I was like, no, stop it now, go home. But then I saw a super offer. They had a magical etoile, which is a new print as a lucky pack, and the eight print skirts where 6,000 yen and for a limited time only they took a thousand yen off so they were 5,000 yen That's cheaper than body life. Oh my god So they had it in mint, in pink and in blue and I decided to get blue, dark blue But before I could grab the dress a lady walked off with it who was like no the last dark blue So I did something I'm not very proud of I kind of followed that lady through the shop to see if she changed her mind I must have some looked something like this mm, Give up the dress and just when I was about to give up, oh come, this is too embarrassing. Why am I following her for the shop? This is so stupid. I'm not proud of this. I swear I've never done this before. That's when she magically put the dress away. But she actually changed her mind. So I dashed forward, got the dress, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pay for this now. And that's the moment when the shopkeeper brought out five brand new blue magical etoile jumper skirt apron dresses. Yes. Oh. So in the end, I walked away with a brand, brand new da -da 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 magical etoile apron skirt. Oops, this is called. Ja 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 Five thousand yen, and it smells so new. No one else has worn this before. Wee, super lolita, man, woman, super lolita woman, here to bring the word more friendliness. And as last item, matching with the dress, I got the last set of socks they had. So that's pretty much a whole outfit. I got the dress, I got the socks, and I can use this bow here to go on my head for a headdress. Angelic pretty, thank you. I actually want to wear a magical at 12 now, so give me a chance to quickly change into this. And bizarre sale transformation start! Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Magical etoile apron skirt! Da -da. And it has a pocket! I love it! Let's give it a spin! So let's have a look! Ah, let's get the dress out! Da -da 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 -da. Fantastic carnival! On release days recently, Angelic Pretty sells out pretty much of most of the dresses or all of the dresses really quickly. So they kind of sometimes already leave this on because you're not going into browse, you're going into buy straight away. So I got it in lavender because lavender looked really nice. Lavender! Lavender! Oh, I'm doing this again! No! Let's get this baby out! Let's keep wrapping! There we go! Ba -ba 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 -ba. It is so cute. It was very pricey, but it was worth it because I really wanted this dress. And hopefully I can coordinate this with a couple of pinks. I don't have that much lavender, as you know. I only have one dress in lavender, and that was this year's lucky pack. And hopefully I can coordinate this nice with pink accessories. And what got me into this again? It has bunny ears on the hood. Check 
how the cute bunny is. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, it's a bit crumbled. We got a bit crumbled in the bag. But cute bunny ears, how adorable is that? And as with the last dress, you can take the bunny ears off instead of the bunny pouch that the last saddle pet that I got, a uh, sugar dream doll had. This one has a little bow. You can take the bow off, which is great. So you can accessorize and maybe put it in your hair because by that point, all the head accessories had sold out as well. So this has been a very popular dress and it's literally been flying off the shelves. And look at his little cute bunny tail that makes you want to play with it. Oh, the bunnies, this is adorable. Let's have a look quick zoom over with the camera. On the front, it has a bow with the pattern. I like it that they had actually the sparkly stars right in the middle of the bow. There's some cute lace here. There's a couple of polka dots on the lace, if you can see that. And then you move all the way down the dress. And this is the print. And what really got me on this print is that it is a very special merry-go-round because you have all the angelic pretty characters we've seen before going around the print on a merry-go-round. So, you have the rabbit, and you have the kitty, and you have the deer. There we go. So all three characters that you've seen before are actually on this merry-go-round, and even a little, little bit here of moon and clouds, reminding you a little bit of misty sky. And here it also says stuff like candy, and it has like diamonds going around. So it has a lot of a lot of detail, I love the detail, and it is so adorable! I love it! Ah, thank you, Angelic Pretty! Oh, you're so cute, you little bunny! You little, little, little bunny! Yay! Oh no, the battery is running out! Maybe this is the only dress I can show you today! Hey, it's awesome! Okay, let's wear this! I like the cello pet a lot, it's very very cute. Unfortunately, they've done the same that they did with sugary jindo broom. There's like so much space I could put my arm in and out of the dress here. Uh, they should have at least put it maybe a pull string in so you can make it a little bit tighter like here, shoo, and it would look a bit nicer. But well, it's a cello pet, so hopefully people will be all right with this being a bit more relaxed and open. So hopefully this fits a couple of other sizes as well, which is a good thing though. I put the bow into my hair. I think this would look a lot better with a pink or a bright wig, but for now I want to stick with my natural hair because I need to dash off in a moment. Uh, with that, yeah, that's the dress. And obviously it has the hoodie. Shut it off. I love the bunny ears. La 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 la. <laughs> there was a way to make those ears stand, that'd be even better. But I guess they'll just be like that. Uh, I think with Sugar Dream Doll, uh, because it had the fluffiness around here, it looked a bit nicer, the hood looked a little bit nicer than this. Also, the ears are a bit weak. So I'm not sure, that's not quite as, not quite so cute. I have a tail. Tail, 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 tail. It even still has the price tag on, look at that. Oh god, don't remind me I spend away too much money. Oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> I was so, 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 so happy when I managed to get it. It was the last pair in Shinjuku as well. Ooh, it's so adorable. Get up, get up, get up, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. The top bow can actually take off, which is always good. Then the hood! Da, 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 da. It's like the most adorable thing ever, right? It's so cute! If for whatever reason you want to take off the hood, yep, ta da! The buttons are little sparkly stones and the lace is of really nice quality. On the back of it, you see the bunny ears, and you even get a little wriggly bunny tail, which you can also take off for washing. Then there is the most adorable, cute little pocket bunny here. Again, you can take the pocket bunny off. Apart from the pouch, there also is a pocket! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I love Angelic Pretty for their pockets! Next thing is the print. The print is absolutely amazing. They pretty much took everything cute this year and just brushed it onto the dress. I love how the colors come together as well. It's not just blue and pink. It's little as twin stars kind of pinks and blues and a little bit of purple in there as well. The only thing with this saddle pet that I would criticize is there is 
no shearing whatsoever which means they kind of cut it really wide like super wide so you won't have any curves in it but i love 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 this sour pet and i shall treasure it and wear it until the snow melts away there, there is no snow if you want to see how this looks worn, let me transform into it. <laughs> Ta-da! There we are. It is so, so, so cute. Check it out from behind. Ta-da! Uh, always when I wear it, I just get really happy. <laughs> Can't help it. That's like my sugar dome, sugar smile. <laughs> oh, derp, derp, derp. And if you actually decide to put the hood up, this is what will happen. The ears can actually stand up. <laughs> Super cute, right? So this is the Sugar Dome Salad Patch. Now this is a special set. It's from my to Freddy, you know it. You can't say no to this. I got this brand new one, but it's this one here I actually had before. So I'm gonna tease it, tease it out. Look at this lavender. How can you say, like, no to like, ah, oh, Halloween, oh, it's lavender. And there it is, and it's coming out of there. Oh, there we go, there it is. What do you say, Kathy Care? What is that? It's insanity, it's manic. It is a top. And you're like, what? It's top? Yes, it's like a vest top. You can see it, it just comes around your neck. So you will definitely need a blouse because otherwise your whole bag is exposed. Eee! All the indecency. It's like a vest, which I love because it is a two piece special set. You could only get this in Harajuku, apparently, because even the site of a closet child says we never had this. And it flew out together with me. Flip, 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 flip. And why did it fly out together with me? Because it had bird wings on the collar. Flip, 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 flip. Together with this dress here. So the name of this dress that I have here in my hand is called Horror Garden. And you're like, where does the garden come in? Well, the garden, my dear kittens, is actually mo, 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 on the skirt, of course. So first of all, let's just check out all the details on the blouse before we go. There is a little button here. You can see how this comes right on the back. If you wear this without anything, it will be so indecent. So only thing with this one, that's why it's really hard to wear, is this has a collar already on here so you'll need kind of like a turtleneck top underneath this to make this work that was part one the actual dress the skirt is here there we go so here is the skirt it's a two-piece that just done everything right now horror garden actually had different versions but this two-piece set actually was like the very special one like i said it's kind of rare so i'm so glad i have this in my hands look at this we start at the top already this is detail they didn't have to do but they did and i appreciate it on the side of the skirt there's a little cross right here on the top and there's extra little bits of lace so if you're all the taller person you're a little bit more tall so this will all be on display if you're small your little vest might actually hide this depending on how you look. Now you're asking me, Kat, does this have shearing? Yes, it kind of has some shearing on the back as well. Look at this. Beyond, 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 beyond. Though there's shearing and a little bit of material here to just keep it in place so it doesn't shear too much in case you don't want to make sure that you don't stretch it. There is a big bow here. And just look how big the bow is. And also look at the detail on the end of the bow. Look what they have done. Look, it's like bat wings. It's like your bow, you know, your waist tie is gonna fly away together with you. Let's actually have a look at the print. And what you'll see here straight away is like, cat, the print, I can't see it so clearly. It's like it is in the misty skies of, of Dracula's castle in front of, ah, oh, you know what I mean. And that's because there's an extra kind of toll for a lever over the dress to kind of give it that mysterious misty feel. So I'm gonna put that back now so we can actually see what's going on this dress. So here is the horror garden. That is where the name is from, because if you look, there are all the gates that take you into the horror garden. So you're coming through the horror garden gates into the horror garden. You have the spoopy angelic pretty coffin and then different types of crosses that are flying all over the dress. It has a lovely gothic feel to it in a sharp contrast to the sweet lavender. So you can see in there more gates. This is actually the gates you come into, also shaped like a coffin. And then you have all the crosses all the way around, around, around this lovely spoopy dress. But as I said, it's not as clearly visible because it has this amazing veil 
going right over it. It's not the easiest dress to wear and coordinate, but it has so much character. And like I said, a real rare one, so I'm so grateful. I managed to just find this. It just came up to me and was like, flat, 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 flat. Take me away, flat, flat. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Here we go, horror god. That is one of the most amazing dresses they've done. Like, in, like, oh my gosh. Like, wow, I don't even know where to start with this. So look at the color up here. There's so much space to actually show. And now, like I said, I'm, you have to wear something that comes up high so you can actually not have a double collar. That would look very silly. I got my little unicorn skeleton here. This gives you a nice shape. Just look what it does. I feel I'm shapey. Also, don't forget, it is totally open on the back. So you need to uh, make sure that you hold this. This is a bit untidy here. This is where the waist is stopped and then the, the bow start. I might have to fix the bow a little bit. I am a small person. Nothing of this one here is showing. Just the cross and stuff is not showing. But uh, I think it's also for when you just wear it without. So if you just want to wear the skirt, there's a nice detail for just making the skirt still special. And then we come up here for the dress. I'm going to step onto that. There we go. And just look at all of that happening. Now I've been thinking of actually shifting this up and maybe having it like stuck up here. So I can actually show a bit more of the actual print and sometimes or I'll just put it down so it's hidden so there are loads and loads of possibilities for this <laughs> I'm very very happy also this bat top now works perfectly with this dress love it the first item I'm gonna pick out here is gonna be an opera glove you know, don't really see that much with the leader fashion, but I have those gloves and I thought, oh, that'd be really nice with that one. Next item on a lace string, I will accessorize this dress that I got with uh, a little bit of a lace choker that has a cross with it. Next item I will accessorize this dress is, with is bunny ears yes because i've checked actually online who else bought this dress and also quite a lot of people were actually wearing usually pretty original bunny ears with this these are not the original bunny ears these ones are actually from swimmer but they still have the colors that are also on the dress and they look actually really really adorable no second glove this will only hurt a little or might hurt a lot so yeah i got these ones out of the 100 yen store after i got the dress i thought this is going to be great for pictures and accessorizing with this dress same set that i got from the 100 yen store to accessorize the dress with i think it's pretty obvious already what dress it is but i'm gonna pick up more there is a little headpiece one of those little things that has a little cross on and a bow final thing let's take the dress out think about the color if you already guessed think about which color it is because now i'm gonna reveal the color da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yes, guys, it is Fancy Hospital by Angelic Pretty. And it is, as you guys will probably have guessed by the last couple of items that got out of the bag, it is a nurse themed Lomita dress, which is actually not that rare. There's been some out by Metamorphose and stuff, but for Angelic Pretty, I think that's kind of rare. And I actually saw quite a lot of people who made amazing chords with this. This is the special set. So it actually came with this cute little headpiece. And I actually prefer the special set because if you look at the front, it has a, um, it's not chastity part. What do you call those? Modesty, I think it's a modesty panel or something. I think they call it like that. So, uh, which has a little cross on and it has the kind of nurse cut here on the collar. And then it goes here and opens down here. So I thought like just that little bit of detail up here is really, really nice. And also what I figured out you can actually take this off. So you can take the modesty panel off if you so wanted to and just wear it like this. So um, I, I love it when Angelic Pretty dresses or what generally a lot of fashion dresses give it detail that you can put things down or put, take it off. So that's really nice. Since you see how it's cut already, I'm sure you're curious about the print and the print is really, really fun. Just look at this. So that's why everyone is wearing bunny ears because there's a bunny here. Um, there are quite a lot of bunnies and bears on the dress and you can see there's like medicine kits, there are pills, there is a thermometer. It says Angelic Pretty all over the dress and this one here, and I think that's probably why the weather ner official nurse was bunny ears is because look, it's the nurse bunny. It's making everyone feel better. These ones are like, uh, these ones are also like strepsils, kind of like lozenges that you have in Japan a lot. And then they're angelic pretty pills and stuff like that. So I just realized if you check, the bear is actually Dr. Bear because Dr. Bear is having the stethoscope here. And then you have something, the fever, 
thingy. There's a little box to store all the goods in and the medicines. All the medicine that's going around, all like heart shape, looks a little bit like candy. It does say fancy hospital on the print, like here. And so if the bear is the doctor, then the bunny here is the nurse. And then the, where's the patient? You wonder, that's the patient. Can you see the patient? It's patient bunny, a little bit of tears, a little bit of out you, a bit of out you in the ear. It's adorable. I love everything about this print. So good. <laughs> Maybe this is the dress that cures you know, heartache or something like that. <laughs> also, another thing that I really appreciated, there is a zip on the side to get in. Da -da -da, da -da, zip on the side to get in. And the, the string actually is quite thin on this dress because the end of the bow, a little crosses, a little nurse crosses. So it is just a fun themed dress. And I never actually had some like these. And it is chiffon. And recently I really love chiffon because it's easy to store, doesn't squish, squish as much and doesn't get creased as much as my other dresses and my wardrobe is overflowing. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I love chiffon. Easy to wear, easy to wash. Whoops. Easy to wear, easy to wash. I know you guys are curious how it looks worn. So transformation time. The doctor is now ready to see you. Ta -da! <laughs> there we are. So here is Fancy Hospital. And uh, I actually wore it already for an Ash Japanese shoot today. And what I found with the opera gloves, like usually if you wear opera gloves with Princess Lolita, it works. But with Nurse Lolita, it has almost a, it feels slightly, slightly kinky a little bit, <laughs> I think. But yeah, um, I really, 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 really love this dress. So, um, not sure what I'm gonna do with my arms, not sure if I'm gonna keep wearing this with the little gloves. I actually took some amazing pictures in this outfit already. It will be coming up on my Instagram, so don't forget to check out my Instagram. My Instagram is Kathy Cat, and if you can't find me as Kathy Cat, then type in can you with a you do it cat in one go and boom, they, I should be there wearing a fancy wig. The dress, the dress. I really, 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 really love it. And uh, love the print, love how themed it is. And here, bunny ears, it works. It works with the little nurse one. Like this one, I put it in the middle first and that looked really weird. So I put it slightly to the side so that works out a little bit better. Again, uh, very easy to wear, very, very breezy. Uh, has I have enough space for my puppies and you can take the whole panel completely off. It just goes whoop and it's gone. It's like super easy. I can even do it here. It's like bring, push buttons and it's on. That's how easy it's done. <laughs> and then you have like, again, a different design if you prefer wearing it like this. So yeah, I found that real pretty cool. I like it when you can adjust and change things. Also, it's easier for your head when you go in and out of the dress. Here, let's get it out. I'll show you the head bow first. If you're a Lolita, you know instantly what this means. Da, 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 da. Yes, I got Sugary Carnival! AP Sugary Carnival! Sugary Carnival is like an icon dress. This is like one of the most known dresses from the time I started Lolita. It's like if every library has to have a copy of 1984, every good Lolita wardrobe should have a Sugary Carnival piece. Most big Lolitas have at least owned this dress once in their Lolita lifetime. That's how iconic this dress is. At least in my community, it's like that. This is like a classic. And to be honest, when I started the leader, I thought I could never ever buy this dress. I would not get it, I couldn't afford it. I just thought I could never get my hands on this dress. So this is like, wow, this is like a miracle. So I I, I own Sugary Carnival now. That's like, and now it's just owning a dress, but it is something special to me. If you're the leader, you know what I mean. We have the angelic pretty logo here right on the top the bow attached to the dress and from there we have little marshmallow strains all the way back down to the merry-go-round oh, so cute look at the horsies sugary carnival we have shearing at the back and a lovely bow here little bows on the side if you want to you can tie it at the front as well 
Even though this dress is kind of old school now, it's one of those classic dresses that people will always know and remember. And it came with the head boom! Yay! Wow, 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 wow! Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> so let's get this spoopy beauty out. First of all, the head bow. Didn't have the head bow in the colorway I wanted anymore because it sold it super quick. I got this one still. Yeah. <laughs> of course, socks, because I'm a sucker for socks. And the socks let have little cat ghosts on them. Boo! Meow meow! <gasps> Already so cute. Let's get the spoopy beauty out. <laughs> If you bought it in store, it came with an original illustration postcard from Imaikita too. I love how they wrap this up gently in pink cushion paper. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Since resellers and scalpers have become such a problem in Japan recently, which we didn't have when I ordered from Angelic Pretty Paris, for example, you saw that in the video, they're actually cutting off the tags now and put them then in the bag. Ooh. that I love, apart from cats. First of all, <laughs> we have straps here that hold it up nice and tight, but then we have an extra bat collar. Bats! I repeat, a bat collar. Oh yes. So bat collar is here. We have tons of shearing on the back. That is gonna be really great for different sizing. We have no zip to get into. Okay, I just saw that. All right, it is wider than I'm used to from some angelic pretty dresses again. And there's no zip on the side, but we have a lot of shearing, so we should still be able to get in. Non-detachable bow on the front. Nice thick bows on the back to tie and also a little bit of cut. Meow meow meow. <laughs> but here is what got my heart the most, it's the print. It is actually cat ghosts and cat witches and it's moons and stars and twinkle dust potions. There's little kitty cats, ghost cats. They're brewing up some potions, they're making some magical spells, they're reading all the books. It's gonna be amazing. Mankind is doomed, absolutely doomed if the magical kitty cats take over. I just, I just love the cat ghost so much. Look at it go, boom, yeah. Open the tin of cat food for me. So let's try it on. And here we are, magical milk cats. Meow meow. <laughs> wow, this is such a fun Halloween dress and it's not chiffon. Finally, thick cotton. I wanted that bag. And, and the thick cotton generation type girl. It fits really nicely. Here we go. This is it from the bag. I hope the bow is not too bad. I'm using actually right now a Lisa top just for now. I couldn't find my old long sleeve one. So it has like a little bit of a ah, naughty gap or no naughty gap, whichever. Both is okay. It has not one, but two pockets. Ah! This is the advantage when they don't have a zip, you get more pockets. On the front, we have it come down like this. Sits perfectly, makes everything a little bit more flat than usual, but that's what a lot of Lolita fashion dresses do. And then I just topped up the headpiece with a little bit of extra to bring in that Halloween-esque. And there we go. I am ready to go out to the next Halloween party. First night that you pulled out of the rack for me was this one. Da -da -da. So this is actually a black kind of cat so so it looks like a blouse on top, but this here is actually soft material, which is great because it doesn't crease. It is from Angelic Pretty. Actually, my rule is if Angelic Pretty is secondhand, I do buy it secondhand because I actually invested a lot in them not being secondhand. So I actually poured quite a lot of money into them. I can see they're doing quite well. People are still lining up in front of Angelic Pretty, so we don't have to worry that they're going to be gone anytime soon. So that's how I justify it. I just make myself excuses. So guess how much this blouse is right now? Think about your head. Write it down. Try to write it down in yen. Or you make it just in dollars if you think that's easier or yours. But yeah, this is the cut sew blouse. And another point I'd like to stress, it has little bows here and it has little bows here, like on the top. You see that? Like there. It's a very, very clever cut sew. And, and it's actually, it's not too short. It's actually not damaged. So I can't believe it went for that cheap. So seriously, so that's number one. Next one here. Now I was first like, what is this? 
but this is like a funny cute quirky thing it is like a cardigan that's not really a cardigan because it's not really gonna hold you warm because it's tiny it's just literally like a, like a bust again it just pretty much just covers your bust it's like a little Busty, busty cardigan um, and it literally has like a little tie here it's a bit like a cape but you kind of put your arms actually through this here so I was like what is this for do I need this what is this good for and actually at the point uh, the director of Ash Japanese was like look Kathy you have a lot of things we put lots of details here but it might be nice if you have like something to change a dress up on the top area so yeah I had loads of enablers around me it was terrible so <laughs> we had this one again it's angelic pretty and it's actually we do like elephants like this in Germany not sure what you do in your country I probably just made a monkey out of myself but it has bunny ears look at that Da -da -da -da. So it has bunny ears and it's super cute and super short. So that was this little cardigan. Again, think of how much you think this little cardamom cape thingy was. Isn't it absolutely adorable with the bunny ears? Perfect for the season. So that's that. There's one more. That's actually the first item I saw and the first item I bought. That's why it's separate in the bag. Because, because afterwards everyone enabled me like crazy. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a white chiffon blouse and there used to be a couple of years ago people were like no you can't wear Lolita with chiffon blouses because it's like not modest enough blah blah and then everyone else was just like hey guys come on we live in countries that like boiling hot you know I respect all the like Mexican Lolitas or the, the people who do Lolitas from Texas or like Hawaii people who do Lolita in the hottest countries because it's so hot but yeah there are chiffon blouses yes there are see-through but hey, it keeps you dry in summer. Otherwise you have like huge sweaty patches, which is not colorly. So in that case, I think it's a very good idea to actually use chiffon and I have no white chiffon blouse, so yeah. So I was really happy to see this one. And again, lots of bows going all the way down in pink. And this is from Angel and Pretty. Again, wasn't as cheap as the other two ones, but it was a pretty good price for a white chiffon blouse. My very, very first one that I'm owning now. Very happy about this one. So guess again how much this was. Bing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. This is the large one and this contains the stuff that you're like, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe how cheap that was. <laughs> first one. There's a certain someone who's starting to get me more and more into Sailor Lolita. Also, I love Sailor because Lay Sailor Moon, Lolita, it's like combining two things that I love. So there we go. I saw that dress and I thought about it and it was like a material I haven't had before and it was cheap. And I, that was the dress that I was actually not gonna get. I was not gonna get it. But it's suddenly, just, it's there now. How did that even happen? Da, 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 da. So this is actually from Angelic Pretty again, and this is called Astro Academy. Now I have Astro Regimen, which is actually one of my absolute favorite dresses. And it turns out, yes, Astro Academy. And it is just this cute sailor dress. Generally, I prefer actually metamorphosis sailor dresses. Uh, they're really, really, really nice in quality as well. But and this one just happened to be there. And I was like, oh, you are a sailor. You are a blue, navy blue. You have a cute color. <laughs> You're on sale. And mom, um, no, there it is. So you can take the bow off. The bow is actually quite long, but it's one of those bag dresses. Like it's huge, 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 huge. No shearing, but very baggy. So I'm not actually sure if this is gonna suit me at all whatsoever. But what kind of convinced me was this material. It is not chiffon and it is not the normal stuff that you have uh, Lolita fashion in. So it feels a little bit like, almost like silk. It's probably not silk because I would have made this dress like super expensive and they probably wouldn't have sold it secondhand at that price. But it's just, it feels so great to the touch. Maybe they explain how much, what, what are you actually? What material are you? No, it says it's like a, a synthetic. It is a synthetic, but it's a type of synthetic I have not had myself ever on any dress. And it seems to be nice and breezy for summer. It is a different material. So it means I can actually squish this into my closet because it is not the normal cottony stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna try this on and hopefully it will suit me. <laughs> Look at the little hem here. It has like dyed lace. That's when they used to dye the lace. It has like stars on the lace. If you can see that and it has like little stripes here. It's adorable and I love so many sailor things. I love sailor moon so much. Final thing, this was the craziest one. It came in a set with hippies. You have time to guess now, three, two, one, where this dress is from. The hint is there are strawberries on it. Ha! Ah, and bows. Ha! Ah, and bunnies. Ha! Ah, 
If you're good, you already know which one this is. Three, two, one. Let's get the dress out. Lyrical Bunny by Angel Like Pretty. I always wanted to have a dress that I can actually theme for Easter. And since it has really large bunnies on it, this is what I wanted. Now, this dress was incredibly, shockingly so cheap because they're this time this dress is actually heavily damaged. Someone might have just whacked this into the washing machine. And that was a big mistake because you can see that the bow here has completely lost shape. It looks very, very, very sad. And actually it has pleats on the top here, but the pleats have completely disappeared because of how it was washed. So what I will need to do is actually iron the pleats back in. You can see the beginning of the pleats here, but the rest is totally gone. So um, I was like, poor dress, what has she done to you? Well, then I thought like your poor little neglected dress, you know, someone's gonna love and take care of you. I'm gonna steam iron you until you become a beautiful, beautiful princess. And that is actually my goal with this dress. So you can see that at the back there, the shearing has been used, it's been, um, a bit stretched cheering wise but it still has a bit of give so it's not completely always stretched which is also good it still has the back bow attached which sometimes is lost in the sale sometimes the items are so cheap because the back bow is gone but the rest is there and i must say i really love the print just look at this lyrical bunny has an awesome print so i'd love to wear this for example for you know spring themed stuff and i've seen some of my instagram friends wearing this really well as well doing great coordinates with this so i was like yeah i probably should probably should rescue this also <laughs> lady you were so cheap i couldn't say no this is another thing <laughs> okay guys so transformation time <laughs> Da, da, da. So this is Astro and this is actually a pretty nice fluffy sailor dress and it's so baggy, it's a super bag dress. <laughs> Never ever wear these. This is probably the baggiest bag dress I own at all whatsoever. It might need some steam eyeing and it has some weird creases here. Obviously it's been like on the sale for a reason. So that's just probably why it's gone down in price from the original price quite a lot. So yeah, this is how it looks. This is how it looks on the back. I haven't really paid too much attention to the bow. Don't judge me. Don't bow judge me. But yeah, I like how this is quite long and like how the long thing at the front is quite long. And it's so simple. I really don't have dresses that are simple. I usually everything screams characters and sparkles, but this time it's different. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna make some nice coordinates with this one. Put that up on my Instagram sometime soon so you can join it. And I'm just enjoying the poof right now. I feel like a massive floofy pup cupcake. Cupcake. Be like the best of flipping cooking. Anyways, let's go for the final dress. Let's go. So lyrical bunny by Angel look pretty. So we have a lyrical cute cute dress with little bunnies. Oh just look the bunnies. Look, they're having like they're having cake. They're having a spoon. You can see that this dress is though heavily, heavily creased. Someone must have just whacked this into a washing machine and not really taken care of it afterwards. I feel a bit sorry for this dress, but I'm sure I can save it somehow. I really want it save this little babes. So there we go, this is the dress. It actually still had the waist ties, which I haven't tied yet because they're kind of also a bit damaged. But um, that's it. At the top, it has the pleats, which are gone, which actually right now, actually without the pleats, it looks like through my foot, so I kind of split coin. And actually, I actually do like that. But I probably will have to iron that back in. So I might do a separate video where I'm trying to save this dress and try different things. I might have to rewash this because it actually doesn't smell so good, whatever kind of detergent or something they used. It smells a little bit of old wardrobe. So this one needs a proper, proper wash so it can actually be saved. And then it needs a proper steam ironing session and then ironing the pleats back in. So hopefully I can save this dress. I'll let you know. Uh, this is the top, the blouse. Really, really glad I got this so nice and breathy. So let me quickly now run you past all the items. How oh, much they actually there? So this lovely blouse here from Angelic Free was 500 yen. This bolero here that I'm wearing, the kind of over was again 500 yen. Now the blouse that you've seen here, the nice chiffony blouse, that was actually a thousand yen. This dress, which was actually the most expensive item, was just over 4,000 yen. And now the bunny dress that I got, which actually came with the head bow, with the head bow, guys, with the head bow, it was 2,000. 800 yen. How can I say no to this? Of course, I want to take this dress in and cure it and make it feel good again. Let's unbox this lovely sale of All Angelic Pretty. Girls and guys and, and guy girls and, and kittens, seriously. This one here is an OP. Da -da -da -da. 
It's from Angel Pretty and it's Rosette Collection and it's an OP and it's beautiful and it used to be like loads of money they took the tags off because obviously it was on the sale. This one also came with those sash but it might be somewhere in here so let's leave it for now because I don't want to pull all the other items out. So this one is yes Rosette Collection. Look at this! They had it in different colors, but I like the black the most. It really, really shows the rosettes down here. They're beautiful. It's so detailed, it's really classical. It has the Angelic Pretty logo on it. it. Has all the things here. You can take this one here at the front off. And it is just a dear one. And like all the detail here at the sleeves. Enough space here for foreigner arms, I hope. I hope this one fits me because there is literally no shearing. Like this one has zero shearing. But I love how the bow comes here, it's cut like this. And oh, it's just a total, total darling of a dress. So yeah, it was actually the last one I saw in black when I was there. They still had beige, they still had a uh, kind of greenish one, and they still had red. But this one was actually the one which I thought showed the rosettes the best way. So I went for this one. This one was, I think, just Ichiman yen, so 10,000 yen, just over 10,000 yen for a brand new one piece. That is amazing. Like, that's that's like, wow. And I look at this, look at the detail, like how they have folded this right here at the button. There's a different material they've been using. Guys, guys, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. It's so exciting. Very classical, but I am definitely gonna wear this as soon as I can. This one is still wrapped. So let's get you out. So this one here is Cirque de Etoile. So the Circus of the Stars, which is like absolutely amazing. Like I, this one was the cheapest I've seen. And literally I, I did this thing where it was like, they put this on the rack and I put it straight off the rack because I was like, yes. <gasps> Yes. So let's let's undress the dress. Let's make this like sexy. Sexy this lady. So this is actually a reddish pink one. So you can see it has like little tassels here on top. Like look how what they've done with the design. I love what they've done with the front and the buttons. There's a bow right here, and yes, you can take the bow off. That's a good dress sign. Then look at what they've done with the sleeves. It looks so formal. It's angelic pretty here on the side. So it's done so well. And then check out the ponies. The pretty ponies go around. So this is like a circus theme. It's like a reddish pink, I think, the color. I wasn't quite sure first if it was like red or pink. But yeah, that's what they've done with it. Again, no shearing. But again, you have a bow here and it comes down in this kind of pattern. And actually, I don't own any long sleeve OPs apart from Kiss Me Cat, I think. So this is actually now my second, um, my third long sleeve OP. That one was a long sleeve OP and this one is a long sleeve OP. So that's that one here. Literally, that one is, is my guilty buy. That's the one I just bought because it was so dead cheap and I was like, oh my God, it's an OP and it's so cheap. But it still gets better. sash that came with the uh, with the first dress. Uh, yes, because they had sashes in different colors and I thought if I get the black dress, I have a black sash, which will then go with all my other black dresses or even with this one here. So I always thought about how can I coordinate that with other stuff. <laughs> I was looking for socks that would go with Astro, because Astro is like the dress for me of the year. It has stars on it. It has like Astro regimen. It has loads of it has lots of meaning for me, this dress. And I was looking for socks for it, uh, like I mentioned to, uh, to you in the other video. And I found like similar socks. So by the time I came, the Astro tights were already sold out. So I looked at something and I think this is the color that comes the closest. And that might still work anyways. So um, yeah, I'm going to wear this with Astro Regimen. This one here, the socks, finally. See, as always, whenever I go to the Grand Bazaar, I definitely always come home with a pair of socks. Bloop. Then there is this beautiful hat. This one didn't have a tag. So she, the lady was super friendly. She was like, would you like to buy it? And I was like, yeah. So she went back to the store. She had a chat with a couple of people and then she's like, you know what? We're gonna put a tag on it for you. And then she 
sold this to me and it was like between 1,000 and 2,000 yen. So that's the price for a couple of hats they had there as well. So that was still a very good price. And it's the same material that I have on a couple of my other dresses. So that will totally work in a combination. I love that it has like a little batch here that you can take off and then maybe put on one of the dresses. So yeah. That one is coming with me. Now comes the final overkill to make this absolutely amazing. Oh God, I can't wait for this. So, oh, where do I start? Where do I start? Let's start with the top. Okay, I show you this and if you are Lolita and if you know the most recent one, then you might already know what this is. So this is like the headpiece that you wear with this one. I do not own a headpiece. I always wanted to try one of those headpieces. I think they're very classical, very nice. And also this will greatly hide my roots that are growing out right now. So that is the headpiece. But as you might have guessed, there's more in this. So these are the tights that go with the headpiece. Uh, and if you know the most recent one in fashion, there is a print called Magic Amulet. Yes. I also got Magic Amulet. It's so, 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 so beautiful. Check this out. <sighs> this one was like, oh my God, I saw this and I was just like, it's so beautiful. Can I take this home? It is complete. That's the thing that really, really, really threw me is that they had this on sale. They had the tights on sale. They had the headpiece on sale. You could literally make yourself, you could get the whole set for just over uh, 10,000 yen. Like literally it was that cheap. I'm going to tell you the final price of all of these items in a moment, but literally this one I saw and I loved straight away. It has a really high cut. There's a really high cut up here with a bit of lace. It has a bow out of uh, velvet that you can take off and it has this really cool color that really looks crazy. I mean, they had this one in red and I was very tempted of getting in red because it would kind of look a little bit like occulty. But then I thought, I have the other two dresses I have in pink and in red with black. So I thought, if I just get three red dresses, that'd be such a shame. And this is actually a nice turquoise and I love turquoise. So I decided to go for this one here uh, because it also still had the tights and the headpiece, which the other ones didn't. So that was another push for me to actually get this one. Well, a lovely chiffon material. You can also take this one, this color here off. The top one you can't, but the lower one you can actually take off. So if you look at the back, Again, it has like two of those like spikes coming down here. It's really cool. Uh, has a cut here. This is where the zip goes. And uh, then again, it has the actual occultic kind of print on it. It's a bit of a crazy like witch's dress a little bit. It has a bit of a witch feel to it, but just the right amount. So yeah, I picked the long sleeve one because what I like with chiffon dresses in summer is they're great for washing. I never really show my arms. Some of you guys know I don't really like showing my arms. So again, this is also easier to wash than other ones. And yeah, it's the full set. Well, those were all the three items. Now, how much did I pay for all of this? So wait a second. We have one OP headpiece and with the tights, the hat and the socks that I wanted. We have super, super large one piece again here and another one piece Oof. so all of this together i paid 34,000 yen I so for all of these together i paid 34,000 yen that is like crazy that's what you buy if you buy one of those brand new with the items so <sighs> I'm just like totally happy. So the main dress is actually featured on the postcards and that is actually the red version. So they were pushing the red version. It's very dark, very gothic -y, very nice. If you are into that color pattern, definitely go for it. Got that as a special card gift with it, which I'm really happy I got. And I got the very last special item bag. So if you paid more than 16,000 in store, you got an Angel Pretty Pretty Trick or Treat candy bag. Look at this, it's so cool. Trick or treat. This was literally the last one in store They took the one down that was on display, which was this one, to give it to me. So I'm like, ooh, <sighs> novelty. I never really get novelty things because whenever they bring something out, I miss the novelty item just about. So first time I actually, in time, got a novelty item. Da -da -da -da! Novelty. I'm really glad about that. So let's first start with the socks. Da -da! Here you go, horror candy shop. These are the socks that came with the dress. And I actually thought, you know, I would be able to get the dress without the socks 
but I want him with the socks. All the socks were still there apart from gray. I asked for popular colors and they said the gray socks have completely sold out while the red jumper skirt has sold out. So everything bling. If you're thinking about getting these dresses, I think what uh, made me decide to get the pink personally was because it's kind of a matte pink. It is not too pop pink. I have loads of pop pink colors if you've seen them on my Instagram, can you do a cat before? But this one here is more of a matte and kind of ghostly pink. So that was the reason why I picked pink. If you're interested why the red was popular, all the red uh, characters that are here, for example, like the mice and stuff, these characters that you can see on the dress, they will all have red eyes in the red version. And that's why the red version is rather popular. I personally found the red version too dark and gothic for me because I like the pop and the fun in the pastel colors. So you can see that the socks, the socks this time are not the uh, normal socky sock tights. They're kind of like the tight socks. Do it make sense? I think it makes sense in my head somehow. So it's the front of it looks like this. It has like dark things drooping down and the characters that are on the dress. And if you flip it over, you also have like a little coffin here and then the little crosses and inside the coffins are ah, the little plushies. Now here for the actual dress. Got a little bit squished in the bag. Let me see. Oh no. Ah, wait a second. Well, we have technical difficulties right now. Don't do this. We're going on screen in the moment. You need to look pretty. <laughs> There we go, it just fell out of a, a, a dark little bad wing cloud into my hand. <gasps> look at it, I mean look at it, I mean really look at it! <laughs> it's so, so cool, it's cute and cool at the same time, it has so many things. I love how the stores have wrapped this up, I mean, oh, you know when you get stuff at Grand Bazaar they kind of just go shove it all in there, you go off. But this one is nicely wrapped. You can see everything is on here. Brand new Harajuku store, horror candy shop. Yay! So there are so many details and so many little things that I love about this dress. So I'm going to tell you why. Let's on back. <laughs> Let's on <run> back. <laughs> Let's on back. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Halloween! They got me a brand new one. Not even one that was on the hangers. They got it out of the back. First of all, this soft material, it feels so soft. It doesn't feel as coarse as the kind of chiffon that I have. It feels even softer, this material. It smells of bad wings and in a good way. So why do I love this dress so much? First of all, I got the OP. I mean, the JSK seem to be popular, but this one, I think you're losing out if you get the JSP because look at the OP's color. It's like this you lovely bat pattern and it goes all the way around to the back. Why would you miss that? Look at that, it's just amazing. Then next one, we actually have the front of the dress. So check it out, there's a bow here right at the top and yes, you can take it up, look, which is good. I appreciate it when they let you do that. Right here in the middle, you can see the bunny that is waiting there. You can also see different types of buttons they have used, the gold one, silver, gold again. So different things and a little bit of frilly lace here right on the top to just give it a little bit of more of a detail on the top part. That's definitely why I like this dress. And they have another bow down here that has also shimmers and sparkles in it. And that one is non-detachable. So that's here to stay. Very, very solidly put onto the dress, which is good so it doesn't droop down. Don't like droopy bows. And then here is the rest of the print. On the back, bad news. No shearing, guys, so you might be, want to be careful about that one. The bow is held again by a little golden button and you can take these ones, these sashes here on the side off in case you want to have a tighter horror candy shop. Why is there so much horror on candy? Because the plushies that are there in their plushy coffins actually have some candy in their hands. So I'm going to zoom in on that. First of that, we're going to go down all the way on this dress and see that it has a little bit of frilly lace on the button and also, which I do appreciate, I always look on the inside and the inside here is actually dyed. So even though it's just the inside of the dress, they dyed it properly. The most amazing thing is if you look at the lace, you find another surprise. It's little bats on the lace, kittens, can you see that? That attention to detail is amazing. It says A, P in each side of the wings and has a little bat shape here. Look at it, there are loads and loads of little cute creatures, so it's so spooky. You'll probably be able to sleep tonight because it's not spooky. Meat, I have overslept and I love sleeping bear with a little moon bag in his hand, uh, which looks a bit more like a pillow. 
Then we have the mouse that's also having a candy cane, well, like a like a lollipop in a star-shaped lollipop in her hand. Well, there's another candy box here. Also, there's another friend that here here is is the little bear again with the candy cane and the candy spoopy top hat. I mean, how can you not love all those characters here? Now, they had berries. The berries have already sold out pretty quickly, unfortunately. But yeah, I really want to try this baby on and actually already have a headpiece for it. So, I think it's time to transform into this dress. Transformation time! Ta-da! <laughs> there we go! Wow, I feel very elegant in this one. Also, what I figured out is that the inner lining actually has a kind of like a silky thing on one side. Feels very luxurious. So I slipped into this and I found another detail that I actually love about this dress and haven't mentioned yet. Look at the sleeves, they're kind of like bat but wing me as well, the little sleeve detail, how awesome is that? See, it feels very, very nice to, to uh, very, very light, actually not too hot. It has pockets on both sides. So all the space for your phone and maybe, you know, a little comb for your hair and everything. So fantastic. Also, I got the headpiece from last year from Angelic Pretty that would go with this one very nicely. So yeah, I can't wait to take some nice pictures with this. brand but this kind of skirt and style I've seen in shops from this price range to this price range it is pretty much the same very much in fashion this summer in Japan. The point with these skirts is that they have like a frilly bit at the top you pull it up quite high which will actually make your waist look really really good and the point is right now totally in fashion here in Japan are like kind of corset belts they call them old corsets but I don't really classify them as corset unless they're lacy and have bone in them but it literally is like you kind of tie them like this here at the front and uh, it gives you a good waistline which is nice because lots of Japanese fashion just boom, it's just like a bag it's like it doesn't emphasize a female shape that much and I appreciate that this one does it so that's why I got it sorry I keep shaking you also a special thing with this one are butterfly twists <laughs> butterfly twists Da -da -da -da. You might go like, what is that? These ones are fold up shoes and this is definitely an item I need this summer. I've had some shoes I have I had to wear for a shoot and those shoes killed my feet, like killed my feet. Like they killed them, overkilled them because they just didn't fit me well. And these ones are fold up shoes. So you can put them into your handbag. They're little small and nice and small and tiny and then just fold them up and you can wear them straight away. And, there's, and you even get a little bag with those, so I'm so, so glad I have those. Finally, finally, they are going to go straight into my handbag so I can carry them around with me and change the shoes. It's also good if you go clubbing and you have sore feet afterwards clubbing because you go in heels. It's really nice just have like a little bag of those in your handbag and you just unfold them and you can, you can take in the pain of your feet. Girls, you know what I mean, right? Next thing, this is a brand called Liz Lisa. Liz Lisa is a very, very cute brand uh, that many know. Uh, it's kind of like, it's floaty and pastel-y and it's very, very pretty. It's shorter than Lolita fashion, kind of a little bit sexy as well. The kind of like, some gather girls will still wear it. Uh, Lolitas will wear it when they don't want to just dress as Lolita. So it's a kind of in-between normal fashion and kawaii fashion, in my opinion. Liz Lisa is very, very popular together with Tralala. Um, and they have in Harajuku a store that always sells those and 30% off I got this wonderful summer dress Bring. so if you know Lolita fashion you already know that this one here this is very much uh, it reminds you a lot of the shearing and stuff that you sometimes get on Lolita dresses and even at the bottom here you have a lovely cute print again reminding me at least personally of Lolita fashion so you have some cute and playful details that you don't get on normal fashion as much. Nice thing here as well as there's loads of shearing at the back um, I'm sometimes even surprised how much there is and this one here 
Big sharing at the waist and a big waistline here again gives you a female shape. I tried on a different dress in store, did not look as good, so that's why I went for this one on the end. It has like fruity cocktails going all the way around on the dress. Isn't this really cute? It's very, very summery and I don't really have anything in yellow, that's why I picked this dress. And again, I hold something I call the child. It was sale there as well, so lucky. And sometimes when the sale starts, you're there on the first day or you miss everything. Like literally, it will only be scraps. And the sale started on the 13th, so it's already been gone. The sale already started a while ago, so I didn't think I would get anything good. But then this babe somehow came, came in again. So sometimes they restart the sale and I was lucky because this is a dress that you need to know as Lolita, especially if you like a flick free. Ta-da! It is Sugary Carnival! Sugary Carnival is one of the dresses of the days. This started off the whole merry-go-round dress boom on all the Lolita fashion girls. So very, very colorful, very cute. It has little horses going around all the way on this dress. And I have this as a one piece in, in pink, but this is the lavender option. And guess what? This was only 2,800 yen. Such a bargain! Seriously, you can't say no to this. Also, it's summer, so you can just dress this down with a t-shirt or dress this up with a blouse and make it later fashion. It has a lovely bow at the front. You can actually take this off, so that's another thing I definitely would like to stress. Shooting on the back, yes, it has lost a little bit of the color because it's already second hand. Apart from that, I'm super happy and I will not complain. It's a very, very fun print. This is why so many girls love this dress so much. So, and since we're there, let's go and try them on. And we are here with the skirt. Next one up is the skirt. I hope you can see this. So this one comes again quite up high on the waist. I think it looks actually rather flattering in my opinion uh, because it comes up so high. Uh, this was actually a large size skirt, but it works in this size because you can zip it here at the top. And it looks very, very, very simple, very easy. Quite has a nice length, a very decent length. So I can wear this for even more formal work stuff that, you know, like go for, for example, on my way to NHK or for other jobs that I've been doing recently. So I can integrate this a little bit, or maybe if I wanted to spice it up a little bit. You see, it's a quite bright red and I could have gone for blue, but hey, I love red and I love the flashy colors. So if I can't wear Lolita, I might as well stand out a little bit, right? And here is the dress! Ta -da! I'm not sure, can you see? Can you see? This is me in the dress. Um, as you see, this is a lot shorter than my average Lolita fashion dresses. Uh, but it's very summery, very breezy. I like the freedom I get from this. There's a zip here on the side that again gives you a bit more of a shape. I like it also because this is very high-waisted. Please, your legs looks like larger. Larger? No, that's not a good thing. Longer is what I wanted to say. Anyways, so this is the line on the back. Very, very free, very, very breezy. It is a kind of polyester material, so I will need to try and iron the pleats out a little bit of it because uh, obviously this is quite from the rack. Uh, and it was 30% off, but the original price was about 9,800 yen, I think. And yeah, very free and breezy, summery style. So I'm gonna whack this out a couple of times in summer and go on a relaxed time, or maybe interview you if you come to Japan and purchase out a few of people for us to Final one, da 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 da, angel like pretty. Oh, sugary carnival. I'm really, really glad. Love this print. Actually, the, the, the OP that I have has been constantly being covered in plastic. That's how much I love it. I don't want any dust or anything to get on it. So this is actually nice for me to have my one version I can actually dare to take out a little bit more. You can see it is very, very cute. I'm dressing this down right now. I'm not wearing this Lolita style just to show you that you can wear this in different styles. And that's the nice thing with skirts. If you are thinking of starting Lolita fashion, I would almost recommend you to actually start with the skirt because you can still then wear it for other occasions. Wear it like Harajuku, just pop style, dress it up, decor it up, or dress, wear it with a nice blouse and wear this Lolita style. So that is Sugary Carnival. I'm so glad I have like a wearable version now also because it is not a JSK, so it doesn't cover this area and um, which is you know the area where you might sweat a little bit more it's also good in summer so you can wear something breezy like a t-shirt like I am right now in summer and keep it a little bit breezy and still wear the stuff that you love wearing and that's what it's all about so yeah that was my very very quick haul I can't show you the shoes because I still have blisters on my on my feet from 
the time I wore those other very, very horrible shoes. So once my feet are a little bit more presentable, I'll show you the shoes if you want to. So far they're here in the box. Um, but yeah, I like how they actually get smaller than this. There's still some, some black beam inside that's supposed to protect the shoes. So they actually get more flat than this. So they'll actually fit into the little bag and this then into my handbag. So this little bag here. So you can take it away. So they are gonna protect my feet. I'm so glad I got this now. I think I really is one of the things I really needed to buy. So I'm glad I have this one finally. Yes, it is not pink. How come? It is not. I saw this wonderful dress here, and you must I don't mean I must say what um what got me with this dress was were actually your guys' comments on my Instagram. I had a one dress that was just blue, it was like a sailor blue dress, like one color, and I had so many great comments from you guys about like how like even the simple colors look really good. Love that it has kind of like a an anime schoolgirl kind of look, you know, it has a cute color, and then you can see here it has a little necktie with a chain that comes around the color. If you turn this around, there is no sharing on the back, so it looks like you know plain kind of school uniform thing as well it has the kind of belty thing here that drops with a button here and the button ties it down here as well and on the back it's the same and this almost looks like the extension of the thing that you have around the waist again it gives you a nice waist and you look down there is no lace but there is frill and it's kind of frill again in the same type of colors and i just thought that's really nice and the material i don't know what it is it feels a little bit like silk you know like fake silk it is not the lightness that i'm used to chiffon and I, I love getting different things in my wardrobe so i thought you you can be my my brand bazaar dress now i thought i'll just leave it at that because that was my intention to just go home with one dress but then i just happened to be in town again on this And that was when the sample dresses were already out, which means sample dresses are dresses that they, for example, put on display in the store, and uh, then they get rid of them later because they are like, you know, not 100% good condition anymore, right? You can't sell them normally. So the sample dresses were out, so I had a bit of a nosy, and there was one where I was like, oh, you don't look too shady, I don't mind taking you home. And at the same time, they also had their accessories out. Let's put them where this bag here comes in. So let's have a look. I actually have a dress called Astro Regimen, and guess what? I found a necktie for Astro Regimen, and it was like, it was just this random necktie, it must have just come off an item, so it was super cheap, because it was just like, they were just wanting to get rid of it, you know, it's come off in there. So yeah, I got a little Astro Regimen necktie, come with me my necktie, so that, that was that. Singing Queen Chocolate is one of the dresses I love getting, I made a whole video about Queen Chocolate, if you haven't seen it yet, there is a video, you should check it out, how much I love this dress. And guess what? They had the Queen Chocolate tights produced for like a thousand yen. And it was like, oh, I'm just already a thousand yen. So I don't know, it's not a thousand. And uh, oh, I was just like, finally, I have the tights. Usually I don't get brand tights because they're a lot of money and they could have a hole in the first day. That's why I love openings so much. But here, I have the sparkly, sparkly tights. So I can actually complete the set now. I have the headpiece, the dress, and the socks. And the collector in me and the Lolita in me goes, Wee! Always around the Grand Bazaar time is when accessories are super cheap. It's around a thousand yen, two thousand yen for things that are usually three thousand, four thousand yen. So I got myself a nice red headpiece, which I thought might maybe go with the thing that I bought the other day, like this. And also, I, you know, I do like red, and I was I think looking for a red headpiece the other day as well. So I thought, you know, it's a simple color. You can maybe match it with lots of other things. So why not have an extra head bow? And that's what I did. So it has loads of frill here, and you can see it has the angelic pretty bow here, and a little bit of this. So funny, funny story actually, when I was at that table that has all the accessories, you keep meeting friends, you're like, oh, hi there, oh, hi Alice, oh, hi you, and then we waited again, and then they put things out again, we were like, Mah. not like that, but like in a very polite way, like, Mah. We're still ladies, but we still want to see what you just put out. There was an item that actually one of my friends first grabbed, and then she was like, you know what? I'm not so fond of it. Would you like to have it? And I was like, yes, thank you. It is a cat. Like it's a kitty cat. Oh, it's a 
absolutely adorable and it has like kind of candy looking like things all around it. Yeah, la 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 la! Look at this bad girl here. I saw it and I was like literally thinking of the dress that I'm wearing right now, which is another reason why I'm actually wearing it right now because this headpiece I thought would go lovely, love, love, lovingly, lovingly, and wonderfully with with the dress that I'm wearing right now. It has like a little veil here on the side. I don't have anything like that yet. Look at it. It's really nice, like flowers on the top, and I thought. That would make my summery floral dress even better. So it looked like a little half flower maiden in the summer. <laughs> I'm, I'm so classy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've left it for you guys to see too long in the back, so it got a little bit crinkle. But look at all the flowery and colorful details here. The bow here on the side. There's like flowers here too. There it is! Milky Carnival! It wasn't a probably a very popular dress. I do actually like it and I do not have this kind of blue color. I don't. At least I believe I don't. Not in the kind of like the way they coordinated the colors for this one I found unique and I liked it the moment I saw it and I also need a couple of dresses that I can just wear and wash and wear and wash and wear and wash and this is chiffon and that's what it can so I can just whack this into the washing machine yes thank you very much you can see the detailing and the bows right here at the front the bow on the front is non-detachable 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 so they made a really simple dress for them to make as well on the back there is shearing and over the shearing there is a little bit of extra kind of lacy pattern which i like when it's not there it always looks a bit meh so i like that they did that and actually did the effort the the bow that you tie around is only printed on one side not on both sides and it has heart-shaped buttons as well they finally finally also dyed the lace on this one which is a good one so the lace is the same color as the dress that you can see and furthermore on the bottom if it says carnival yes it will have horses go around so here are the horses that you can see that go all the way around the dress it's also typical other popular patterns on angel pretty bows presents and ballerina shoes for whatever reason they're on there i like actually the, the design of the horses and i also like that some of them say like hug me or be mine like the candy that you see also the sleeve stretch which is good for arm giants like me just look at my arm giant and just rah. i usually don't fit the normal ones so yeah i'm glad they did that i do actually like the extra detail that they've done for example the hot lace that kind of goes all the way around at the top and that little frilly bit that they have there it's like a look of look of it like a not chastity window. What is it? Modesty, like a modesty panel. It looks like a modesty panel, but it has also a little bit of a feel of like traditional fashion in Germany, like the dental kind of fashion. So yeah, I do like that. How do these actually look worn? I guess what I actually wore them already for you guys uh, in pictures for pictures. The pictures are. Da -da -da. Ta -da -da. It still came with the whole packaging, which I didn't know it came with. So these ones are actually not Lolita fashion shoes. They're from a brand called Ang Rouge. Some of you who are totally into Japanese fashion might know this one. I really like their fashion. I don't own that many pieces from them, but these shoes were amazing because because of the way they are cut, they make my looks look really slender. Like they give me a really good shape. And because the heel has a thick um, area where you're standing on, it was actually good for me to walk. And as you can see, there is a little bit of heel on the front. And usually when there's heel on the front, it makes it a little bit easier for me to walk, even if the shoes are higher, because obviously these heels look really high. But if you think this part is level out here, so it's, they're not really that high. So I walked around in them and they felt okay and comfortable. I'm gonna add some squishy padding, but these ones are the shoes. And guess what? Those ones were just a little bit over 400 yen. It's 463 excluding tax for those. Yes, this is my lucky bargain day. I was like, this is beautiful shoes. They look good. They will work with Lolita fashion and normal fashion. And I can afford them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Nice new pair of shoes. <laughs> I'm still teasing you. I'm gonna go for the second uh, less expensive item that was in here. So 
So this is the headband. Now, some of you Lolita fashion lovers who know the releases of last year of Danger Lake Pretty know what this could mean. Yes, check this out. But I'm gonna tease the rest of you a little bit. It's not just a Lolita bow, it's kind of done a little bit differently. It looks like something else. And it has like a little bit of, like, do you call this mesh? Please con correct my English if that is wrong. And then a little bit of lace on the side. And those hearts who are totally cute. Look, look at those little hearts here on the sparkly. So, what do, does this remind you of something? Yes, because the amazing bargain, that was in the way. Let's do this one more time. Because the amazing bargain dress is in here. Let's take it out. Mentioning that. This headdress was 926 yen! It's so cheap! Thank you, closet child! So let's tease you. It is frilly! It is pink! It has ice cream on, which is always good because I love ice cream! It says Angelic Pretty! Oh my god, that's everything I know ever wanted and more! Ta-da! This is Angel Pretty's dress Dino Doll that they released, and I must say I love Dino Doll. I actually wanted this dress so badly. I wanted to go in with my friend on the release date, but I couldn't go in because I was working. Then I thought it was sold out. Then when I back it went back in, it was still there, but then I couldn't afford it at the time. And guess what? It was destiny this time. It was destiny because I went there when they started having a little bit on sale and I looked at the blue version of this dress and I could not decide whether I should get it or not. And in the end, it was like, I'm sorry. I feel for you truly and deeply, but I'm not sure if I could afford a lifestyle with you, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I regretted it because next time when I went in for the Grand Bazaar sale, that dress was gone and I was like, no, Dinah doll, we could have been. I'm so sorry. But this time it was meant to be. Dinah doll was there, it was in pink, it was adorable and it's cute and I could afford it. <laughs> I'm so, so glad. And this dress has so much detail, so let me quickly show you the amazing detail of this dress. As the name already tells, this one is modeled after an American diner kind of style. So it's Lolita fashion meets American diner, which I think is such a clever idea. It's been a while since they had such clever ideas, so I really appreciate that. The lace here are a little hot, and then I like this ribbon that goes around here, because like a ribbon wrapped around this one, and it kind of pops out, you can move it so it's not stitched to the dress. Uh, Sleeve-wise, it stretches, which is always good, because sometimes when these ones are too tight, they don't work on my foreigner arms, and there's a bow here on the side. Cute heart buttons here, and I already checked. There is also one spare one down on the dress. Here is the apron, which you can detach, which I love. I love it when Angela Pretty does aprons that are detachable. And then there's the print, and you can see like loads of cute ice cream and cakes and stuff and look pretty and then here is the actual print which is stuff that you'd expect at a diner a very pink diner ice cream and parfaits and candy and sweets and cupcakes and it says diner on here as well look there's like a little popcorn one. Oh my gosh girls and guys and kittens kittens i wanted this dress so badly it was meant to be this time it was meant to be the only thing i must warn you guys this one has no shearing on the back and it has no shearing on the front. So I'm not sure if it will fit me. I didn't try it on at the time because I just totally impulse bought because I wanted this dress so badly. What is the bow in the back? And the I was looking for the Angelique Pretty label because I was like, this is so cheap. But I don't. Oh, I see. I see, I see. I see the flaw on this dress. I found a flaw on this dress. It has like cake on the inside. I think that's something I can get out with the wash. Ew, but apart from that, I looked for the label, and which is closed. You can see here is the Angel League Pretty label, and there is the button here. So yeah, I was first really worried whether it might be a fake because it was so cheap, but it has the tax on, and I think a closet child will get into heavy trouble if they started selling fakes. Now, I keep saying that this dress was so ridiculously cheap, and it really was so cheap. Now, you guys might have made your own guess. This is your last time to guess. Let me tell you the price of the Dynadol OP that I've wanted for so long, and I thought I never could afford it, and got it in the store today. It was 4,445 yen without tax! That is so cheap! This 
was destiny. I knew sooner or later we would have to be together. Oh, I know it's very pink and I was debating with myself whether I could still paint or pull off all those pink dresses, but then I'm not wearing this for anyone else. I'm wearing this for myself and because it makes me happy and this dress is something I wanted for such a long time. Uh... So you can look forward to a fashion coordinate that I will be doing with this one once I have the time to wear this properly. Let's clean a little bit of cake up and jump into the dress because I want to feel how it feels to be in this dress. So let me just quickly wipe the cake off the dress. Someone took this too serious and it looks color-wise like someone had the same kind of taste of cake on the dress as well. And I'll probably put this in the cleaners afterwards, but I want to wear this for the video. So let's change. May I take your order? <laughs> so this is Diner Oh my God, I wanted this dress for so long. Never thought I was going to have it. Uh, braving the pink, still braving the pink, but I love the pink. It has like that super kitschy touch to it. I think that was a brilliant idea from Angelique Pretty. So as you can see, it just fits me. Oh my God, I'm so glad it just fits me. I shouldn't gain any more weight. Otherwise this will not fit me anymore because there's no shearing. If I breathe, it gets a little bit tight, but I can manage. Shearing, no, no, no shearing. But it fits just right, a just perfect fit. Uh, lovely, lovely bow here on the back. And I love this dress, it's so fun. And I love that it came with the headboard, and the headboard was so cheap, so this is like a full AP. Only thing I need to learn is showing my arms, because you guys know I don't really show my arms, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm showing my arms, I feel half naked. <laughs> I will be thinking of some nice and fun coordinates to do with this dress, how it can spice this a little bit up and make this a little bit more me. But yeah, this is Diner Girl. Ta -da! It was a blouse and it was like super cheap. And you can already tell that this is an old style Angelique Pretty blouse because it still has the old Angelique Pretty logo. So this is an old blouse. And that's why it was, I think only like thousand, two thousand yen. It was super cheap. The old Angelique Pretty logo was actually this. Very, very different to the new one. Now let me give you an example. New logo is pretty much this one. It's like a bow, cute bow, and has like the Angelic pretty front. The front has changed definitely to this one. The old, the old Angelic pretty logo, very, very gothic. Lita, as you can tell that this is still a relic. I thought that was awesome. I'm probably gonna give this a good wash and put this a little bit into bleach and then it should be fine to wear because I thought it's nice. It has a little bit of detail right here at the top. As you can see, it has a bow that you can tie at the front and there's two bows here in the collar. And as you can see, the collar has not run even though the former owner has washed it several times. And also I like that this sleeve has actually proper like thick lace, not the frilly lace, but actual prick proper thick lace and a bow here. So that will go really nicely with quite a lot of dresses or even just for casual wear. I thought that was a bargain and I need to sketch that up and that's what I did. You need a good wash dog, you're, you've lived a long time already. It's another two. <laughs> yes, you'll be like, Candice Black, what happened to you? It is actually black, but... So this is actually from Peace Now um, and I just saw this and it looked so cool. It has like, um, it comes up here, it has like a waist, it's like a waistcoat slash already dress. It is quite long, so it is actually Lolita length, at least uh, when I tried it on it looked like it was Lolita length. Now wait a second, yeah. And then on the side you can tie this here, which again gives you a female shape. And it's sometimes nice to have a little bit of a female shape. I don't think I will wear this just as Lolita fashion. I probably wear this more like as a gothic kind of uh, Harajuku fashion style here in Harajuku. So, uh, Peace Now has done some beautiful pe like Japanese fashion artwork peeps pieces. And I um, have a couple of eyewear items, I think, actually, but I don't think I have a full dress from them yet. So, it's totally black. I really like that it has this here on the side to give me a female shape. And since it closes at the front, I can make this look really tight, which obviously you don't do with normal later fashion. So, it will be a big change. Something to try again try I want another Japanese little fashion style I like trying all, all the styles I don't just stick to one but I'll always be true to Lolita as you can see there's one more and that one I stood there and I thought a long time but then I went for it so the pink bag already tells you this is from the floor where the Lolita fashion goods are. The black bag usually tells you it's usually upstairs where the gothic stuff is. This one here is usually where the pink stuff is, where the Lolita stuff is. And 
and it's a goodie. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This one here is actually Milky Planet and Milky Planet, if you know my channel, I actually have the one piece of this one, but I love it so, so, so much. I love all the whole ice cream. I love the way they cut this one. This one has two pockets right and left and actually it came with the headdress and I did not have the headdress and actually this set with the came with the headdress was about a uh, 6,000 yen I think so that was actually good because usually if I just get the head press that's already 3,000 so I thought in my hat I justified it myself saying It's 3,000 for the headdress and then... Yeah, that's kind of how I convinced myself to actually get this. And uh, again, it is super, super fun. I'm glad I finally have the headdress. So now that works with the skirt and uh, the one piece that I already have. Yeah, I love how they, what they did with this one. We'll have what they did with the pockets here. That's super cute. That has the bow here. That's nice. It has like a bow on the side. Um, the zip is here on the side as well opens fine has all of this and also what it has what i appreciate is it has this one here so you can um actually make this tighter so if you pull this the skirt will actually sit nice on your hip and just uh, it's one or not one of those skirts that just hangs there like a bag so you can make this actually tighter and make it fit to you and since it's summer and i might just want to wear this maybe with a t-shirt and just go for cutesy harajuku style i'm very glad i got this in his dress i can go and Take ice cream shopping with me. Let's take out this lovely, lovely dress. <laughs> there is the tag with the price. Don't let me see. You can have a look. Oh, let's put this away again. But it's half a present anyway. So I can actually look at the press and go, aw, thank you guys. Click, 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 click. Ja -ja, fairy season, fairy season. So let's check out first the actual print on the bottom. You can see Rapunzel and Cinderella. And ta -da, Ariel, part of your world. I think that was so adorable and I love how they use the colors on it. I just couldn't say no on it. They are all in little snow globes. So this time they actually did a better job at incorporating the print into the dress instead of just dumping things on like they did on the Rapunzel dress. I mean, I still love Dreamy Luna and you know all the crazy things I did to get Dreamy Luna, but you know, they could have done a Better job of incorporating that into the print. You work your way up, it has lots of shearing at the back, which is always good, so it fits more sizes. It came in M and it came in L, and then it has the front with the most massive bow that you can ever imagine. Only thing uh, that, that surprises me, the bow is kind of like drooping very easily. So if you have this dress, you need to either try to starch it up, or maybe what I'm considering of doing is stitch the bow on a little bit like this so it stands up very 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 pink and very very pastel and very much in your face but I love this dress because it has my favorite princess and I couldn't just say no to Ariel she wants to be part of my world I want to be part of her world it's gonna be okay we're gonna have a great party what I'm also glad they did which the baby dress didn't do there is at least one underskirt under here as well to uh, give you a little bit of extra material under that dress. So when it came to coordinating this dress, I actually struggled a little bit because this one on top of white, it doesn't look white. It just didn't. So I found a pink blouse and with a pink blouse it worked really well and that was my coordinate for the Harajuku fashion world. Fairy season is a very very cute print, it is very very wintery and it is perfect for this season. I hope there will be more Angelique pretty and Disney collaborations because they're cheap, they are fun. It's pretty and Disney, it's like two awesome things coming together to make awesome clothes. Ta da There it is. So. It came in the Disney Store Japan bag, you can see here, Bear, you can see here, Mr. Mouse. And we are gonna dive into this lovely thing. So this time the Mari dress is called Mari Hide and Seek. And online it didn't look as pink, but in real life it's very pink. Incredibly so! So that's why I was a bit reluctant, because it's really, really neon pinkish, which I'm trying to avoid buying too many pink dresses recently, because I'm like, can I still wear this? So this is the, the Mary Hide and Seek, and it is cute, but 
I like comparing dresses and as you can see, so this was uh, the Murray dress that came out before and it had like print all the way, all the way around, loads and loads of print. Well, this one here, uh, they did the different thing with the sleeves, they just made them baby pink and then they had the print on the dress here. Uh, very, very, but uh, the material of this one is nice, it has kind of like a little bit of a touch to it and uh, so you can see this one here has a collar where this one has a kind of turtleneck high collar and a massive bow at the front and I've done that before with Angelique Pretty with a massive bow at the front and people were like, oh, this might be a little bit too big and I even thought this might be a little bit too big but um, I think it's just still just okay I think it just is okay. Unfortunately, you can't take it off in case you feel like it's too much. But I still wanted it because it was half price and it was Mari. And I love actually all the Disney dresses because they're very, very nice and wearable in summer. It's a chiffon material. They're easy to wash. So I kind of put a tweet up on my Twitter and asked you guys, should I get the skirt? Should I get the dress? I can't decide because it's so pink. And you guys were like, come on, get, cat, get the dress. And that's like kind of what I wanted to hear. Like I'm trying to tell myself not to be so pink is what I'm saying, but I'm wearing it pink dress right now <laughs> so yeah, this is the Mary hide and seek dress and uh, it has no shearing which the other dress had which surprised me so there's no shearing on this one the other one had shearing there's a zip that goes up uh, it came in two sizes in M and in L and if you focus closer and look at the print it is Mary here at the bottom going round which is nice, but because they cut it, it doesn't quite always line up. So you can see here at the corners that the bow is kind of disappearing a little bit and here, Mari is getting a little bit cut off. So that's what I mean with the change in quality. I think they didn't put as much effort into it with, uh, as with the old Mari dress, but it was still nice to get it half priced uh, in the Disney store. So I was like, okay, well, half price. Can't really say anything. It's summer now, so this is probably gonna be one of my summer dresses that I can just wear and then like wear once and then wash them because again chiffon easy to wash material so and the frills at the bottom the frills frills gosh yeah i'm such a hypocrite i'm just talking about not wearing pink dresses and then look at this but it's a different shade of pink it's not the kind of you know salmon pink it's a very pinky pink oh what else i'm just sounding like i'm making up excuses but i wanted this dress anyway so yeah Ta -da! and this is how the dress actually looks for it and i must say it actually is very nice and floaty and I actually like it. I'm so glad I got this. I mean the bow at the front is quite large and it is kind of a little bit bulky and a little bit in the way but I mean in theory if you were didn't really like it you could take it off or shorten it here. I usually don't mess with my dresses though because I don't want to ruin them in case I kind of pass them on to someone else in the future. So yeah this is the dress and I must say it's actually really nice. So that was a good buy. But there was one thing, I recently watched The Beauty and the Beast. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Beauty and the Beast. Do, 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 do. Mary Jess was a collaboration with Angelique Pretty. The next dress was a, co was a collaboration with Baby the Starshine Bride. Oh, got it, sorry. Here we go. So again, Disney Store, original bag, nice little sticker. This time, oh, oh sticker actually, I think. <laughs> they did have the dress. They did have the dress, but in this case, I didn't like how it was cut at the top. So I decided I'm not, this time actually not gonna go for the dress. I collect, I'm kind of collecting all the Angelique Pretty Disney collaboration dresses. But with this one I went for the skirt because the print is so cute and it's so classical. You can already see in style, it's a very, very different style to the Angelique Pretty dress because this is baby the sunshine bride. And literally with the roses and so on, it's beautiful and classical, but they kept it yellow because of course Belle's dress is yellow in the movie. So that was what I did. And you have a little, it has a little bow here, which I think works. And you have sashes, sashes which you can actually also take off, which is quite exciting that they actually let you do that because usually with the Disney collaboration dresses, you can't really take those off. Uh, at the front, it's strong. At the back, it has shearing, lots of shearing, and it came in M, and it came in L. But also, I want to show you all the detail on this skirt because it's such a cute skirt. So this is the bow, which you cannot take off, but it has like a little bit of glitter attached to it. Let's have a look at the print. 
you can see Belle as she is beautiful holding the rose. So they actually did a special design for it. And then you can see, for example, Cotsworth, Cotsworth. And uh, you see Madame Teapot and Chip. And again, you have a different bell here. So there's loads of design going on here. Yeah, and then we're back to square. Where's Lumiere? Oh, there is the rose. The rose and it says Beauty and the Beast. And I'm trying to find Lumiere right now because she should be here, right? It's not the Beauty and the Beast if there's not Lumiere on this dress. Huh, I can't find him right now. Kittens, if you know where Lumiere is on this dress, then please let me know, because I can't spot him. Shocking! Da -da -da -da. This is actually the Angelic Pretty Kiss Me Care collaboration bag. You know how Pretty always has those heart-shaped ones? It has that little pocket here at the back that helps you store your smartphone or something that you need quickly. And it has a little bow here on the side. The Lucky Pack ones didn't have those bows on the side to keep it all nice and squished in the Lucky Pack, so that's different. Uh, it has like lilac pattern here. And if you can see this, it says, Walt Dis the Disney Store Angelic Pretty Special Edition on the bag. And it has a cat on, Murray. But this bag is still so big, so let's see what else is in there. There is another bag in the bag. <laughs> so let's open that one. Shiki! Check out the tights. The tights are so adorable. They're so, so cute. They have Marion, and I've seen girls wear those, and even with foreign legs, they don't stretch too much. Sometimes if you wear Japanese tights, leggings, stockings, stuff like that, they stretch too much, and like that cap will look like me. Luckily with these tights, I did not see that happen. I've seen it on foreign legs, so it still looks good. Another reason why this is awesome. There is still a bag. In this bag. <laughs> this is the main thing. This is the main thing. Da -da 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 -da. Kiss me cat. It's so, 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 so cute. In my opinion, it's the best angelic pretty dress since Upside Down Story which is one of the first one collaborations that I did when I was in Japan. I love, love, love Upside Down Story. Always wanted it, finally managed to get my hands on it. Haven't done an unboxing of this one because I already wore it. But this one, I thought nothing could top this one, like even Dreamy Luna that I'm wearing right now. But this one comes pretty, pretty close. Oh, might actually be topping. I have a cute little bow here that is not too massive, like the one they had on the snow globe fairy print because I was massive. Rose buttons that come down here. And I like that little front panel thing that they go, got going on here. Long sleeves, no saving money on this ones. Long nice sleeves. A little bit of sheer, which is good if you want to fit it to your size. And a bow to tie. This dress is mostly adorable because it has cats on. Look, Murray, it's adorable. It's all so cute. There's gonna be loads of kisses in this video, it's happening. This is my birthday dress, Kiss Me Cat. I wanted it so, so badly, so I'm so, so, so glad I have this one. Happy, happy, happy birthday to me. And there's actually one more thing in this bag. Another bag. It's gonna be a Beretta and it has cat ears cat ears and even a little tail in the middle. Not quite sure, it's a bit like unicorn style, but it's still absolutely adorable. And it goes with the dress. It's all in the set. This is the very first time I've had a full set socks, hat, bag, dress. First time without it being a lucky pack. So I'm very, very happy, very, very grateful. Very, 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 very excited as you can see. And uh, look at this hat, isn't it adorable? So um, yeah, that is the Kiss Me Cat set. I'm gonna start first with the commercial. That is not supposed to be here. It's the tights. But the tights, I really wasn't sure if they're gonna be any good because there's this blue thing of Rapunzel right in the front. So it would just look like you have like a blue thing on your your knee. I don't have knee highs in that color and they're a lot cheaper than when you buy them in AP. So I got the knee high socks for 1,900 yen. <laughs> Next one! I was really thinking a lot about whether I should get this or not. Rapunzel Parka. It goes with the dress because it has the same pattern of the dress right in here in the hood. 
golden stitching on here. A little bit of lace coming down. And uh, they had an M and an L. And as you can see, M is already quite bright. I don't know why they made it like that. So I chose M. My reasoning for getting this was I have dresses of IP that will go well with this. And in summer, I need to cover my arms because they burn so quickly. So that was my reasoning. Ooh, spread of my money. Checking. This little bag should contain the little beretta that came with it. It was a bit pricey. It was 2,000 yen just for a little bow. I'm always thinking, yeah, should I really pay 2,000 yen for a little bow? But it matched the dress so well and the dress was cheap. So that was kind of my, my excuse. <sighs> my purse, please forgive me. Finally, best thing for last. Ring. Okay, this is the dress. It's a nice soft chiffon one, which is good because it's summer now and if you sweat, you don't get sweaty patches in these ones. You will probably need to wear something under this because it is very, very see-through as you can see. But it has a lovely, lovely moon and cloud pattern, really reminding us of a cheaper and more affordable version of Misty Sky. And then at the bottom, it has Rapunzel going round. Um, I thought they could have done a bit of a better job of incorporating Rapunzel with it just without just dumping pictures of her in there. Like with the Alice in Wonderland one, they did a better job with that one. But I thought still, I still would like to have this dress. You can see there is a little waist tie here at the back. A nice thing with this one is you don't need to wear a petticoat with it. It's one of those dresses that work without a petticoat. Another reason for me getting this dress. Another excuse for me getting this dress. It will be nice and easy breezy in summer. So let's have a look. I hope this fits me. So Dreamy Luna is another way to get Angel look pretty, brand new Lolita fashion for cheap. And obviously you can wear this in a normal way or you can decorate it to look Lolita like. And it's great for summer and nice and easy breezy. Let's open it. First of all, da -da 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 is ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, that's not the dress. If the dress was that size, now then really I would have said something to the shop assistant. This one here is checking. Da -da! The headbow and the headbow goes perfectly with the dress because it has the same pattern. You can see Ariel is on a little shell on there. I think they did really, 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 really lovely accessories. I can't even speak. I can't even. Uh, lovely accessories with this series. So uh, when that dropped in price, or even the accessories dropped in price, so that's a nice one. So this is a beretta. You put that here on the back of your head again. Again, that is what Ariel wears when she transforms into a human. She has like a, a little bow on the back of her head. And this one has a lighter material on top of the actual dress material, which means it is lighter here, which also happened with the, with the Ariel dress. I think that's a, a bit of attention to detail that I personally very appreciate as a fan of the movie. So that is the cute little bow. It's so cute. It's so cute and sparkly. But let's get the baby out. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get to it. Oh, there it is! Here we are, Ariel and Flounder. Now they had several dresses in store and if you watch some of the other videos, you know that you need to watch closely and check the printout sometimes closely to make sure the quality is okay. So with this one, what I found nice is uh, it actually has Ariel here um, right on the front in the middle. All the other dresses didn't have that. Obviously she's upside down, but she's swimming. So I kind of taught myself, you know, she's doing the, the swimming spinny stuff that she does in the movies. So it's kind of okay. They had this in M and they had this in L. This is the M size. One thing I'd be very careful about, there is no shearing on the back. So you need to be sure that this is your size before you try this on. The zipper at the back opens quite low, which is good. So you can get into it quite easily. And to give it a bit more of a shape in case you're a bit more skinny, uh, there's a nice bow here that you can tie up the back to give yourself a little bit more of a female shape. So that's the back of the dress. Again, the print is lovely. You can see her swimming together with flounder. And what they did at the top is, which resembles again the dress that she was wearing in the movie is, it kind of goes up here at the bust in a kind of like wavy form, which has a little bit of lacy, which is nice, a little bit of lace on the collar. 
Let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see here the laser, the collar, very nice. That's there, the front, the bust bit. Um, the material is very thin and very, very breezy. That's Ariel over here. And again, generally the print is here. So, so you'll be turning around and swimming around. I think that kind of works still with Ariel. And so she doesn't have to look the same direction all the time. It was probably also a lot easier for Angelique Pretty to fabricate. Now the bow at the front, I think is a bit of a sad thing. And that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't buy it straight away. I saw the bow and was like, what the, what the, what the, what the? I don't know. This needs to probably get, probably get stitched on for it to look good. Otherwise it will just look a bit sad. Like, oh, I'm so shot. Look, oh my but you're a shot face. I think for the price of 4,000 something something yen, I forgot already, uh, that is a very, very good bargain. I'm actually really, really glad I have this dress now. And as you can see, I'm planning to wear this straight away, put on the blue makeup already. What, uh, same thing though, that uh, happens with the Rapunzel dress. This one gets see-through. It gets very, very see-through. So you need to wear something underneath it that gives you a little bit of coverage. Uh, there isn't even, there is an underskirt as you can see. So there is a bit of an underskirt, but it's still, it looks quite see-free to me, so be sure that you wear something underneath to <laughs> protect your modesty, ladies and gentlemen. But again, this one in a set with the head bow is is a, is a dream of mine. I think uh, we are gonna have a lovely summer together. I'm actually planning of wearing this a little bit tuned down again, so not OTT, but maybe like uh, with a pair of my new sneakers that I have. So it's uh, for a comfortable day out when you know you want to walk around a lot. For example, playing Pokemon Go, which I'm going to be doing today. So that's going to be another another good thing to be comfortable on, on my way uh, gaming and playing. I can't wait anymore. Let's try this on. Ta-da! And there we are. I, Ang Angelina, I was going to say Angelina. Ariel and flounder dress. And that is the dress. It is lovely. I find it very nice. The material is really breezy, which is really, really good now for summer. As I said, in a good way, it's very breezy. In a bad way, the top is pretty much very, very see-through. So definitely wear a little camisole underneath. The skirt is not as see-through. So if you wear a white beige or gray kind of underwear, it shouldn't show through. Um, so basically that's it. Oh, only thing I have to warn you though, it is a bit tighter than all the other dresses I've had so far. So check the size that it fits you. It just about fit me. And uh, I think uh, this area here can get really tight. I uh, had to uh, tighten a little bit afterwards, but it's the first time when I was like, oh, well, this is, uh, that's new. So I think I made it a little bit more petite this time to maybe fit the Japanese sizes a little bit better. Again, that's the, that's the little bow at the back and the barretta. I think that works really well. Very, very happy with this dress. Perfect for summer. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be my new, I am going on a fun day out kind of dress, I think. This is probably the biggest, most decadent, angelic pretty haul I've done in my entire Lolita fashion lifetime. And we're gonna unbox it together. So let's get crazy. This is gonna get down. First of all, socks, socks, socks. I have a thing for socks. I don't even wear that many of them, but for me, accessories like cute socks are like the thing. If you happen to be a monsieur connoisseur or madame connoisseur of the prints, then you know already which print this belongs to. That's why I bought them. In three colorways. If you look close at the glitter, 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 you probably can't see a thing of this. We got a pink bow, which is unbelievable, and a blue bow. I like pink bows and I cannot Lie. The Lulus can testify. Was I see a big bow? I got a bow. The father found a bow. I get bow. <laughs> Dress number one. Milky Planet J S flipping K. Oh, oh my gosh! I've wanted this for so long. Where do I even begin with the beauty of this one? First of all, you have straps that you can take off and then it has a neck holder with a big, big sash. You can hold it on your neck. You have two ways of wearing this. Already amazing. Look at the scalloping on the top part of it. Those cute little cloudy waves and then those three bows. Did they make them a little bit bigger? I had it like, I thought they were like quite tight. Maybe they finally learned and made them a little bit more adaptable to different sizes. Zip on the side, always good. It has buckets. Can I talk about the print? Cause the print is the most amazing, fun, cute print ever. Look how much is going on the 
I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but there is so much glitter all over the dress as well. It is colorful, it is fun, it is pop, it is beautiful. What a darling. And wearing this dress, I would like to review the next one. So transformation time. Da -da 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 -da. Hold on, I didn't transform into that. I transformed into the remake version, which is the dress that I talked about. The very first brand dress that I managed to buy in the Angelic Pretty store in Japan. Very, very special dress for me. Never let it go. Love it lots and lots. I can't, it was actually on sale at the time because the reprint wasn't as popular as the original series because there was no scalloping and such and a couple of other detailed changes. So yeah, that's the one. Still love it. Still treating it with lots and lots of love, love and care. And you can see the difference in color straight away. And this is how the dress actually looks when it's fully worn. And that's the ring remake. And I think people didn't give it enough credit. What I love about it is are those little star pockets that we have here on all the stripes that are going around on the dress. The stripe pattern is resembling, which then makes also much more sense with the socks that we have. It's my darling. Mm, and now it's time for the final dress. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. Here is the original Milky Planet. The way it was. Oh my gosh. I only saw this in magazines and I'm holding it in my hand right now and I can't believe it. You can tell the front is already massively different. We don't have the bow pilot pattern. We don't have this whole scalloping panel. We don't have the bows on top. Here we just have a bill bow in the middle and then lace going around here. And then a big, big front bow as well. Super cute, super flashy, super, super adorable. And of course, on the bottom, the scalloping that this baby here didn't get in the remake. Yes! This is the OP. And with the OP, we have all the power. I could wear this without a blouse, but today I am wearing it with a blouse. Fuck it. Ooh, I'm living my pink fantasy. Ooh, don't mind me. I think now the family is complete. A dress that I bought eight years ago and a dress that was released way before that is now reunited with the re-release versions. Yes, I've had this dress here for eight years and it still looks pristine because I barely wear it because I love it so much. And I'm gonna treat these ones here with lots and lots of love too and I can't wait to wear them. It's gonna be so awesome. We're gonna go so many places. We're gonna have so much fun. This is probably my biggest angel like a pretty haul ever and I've done some other exciting dress hauls that are on this channel and if you haven't seen any of those and you like me just being crazy and geeking all over dresses then be sure to check that one out next. Thanks for tuning in. Do what you